Look at those happy faces. These are the faces of happy developers who are testing their brand new prototype. Because yes, we actually made a new prototype. Why did we do that, knowing we already had a pretty decent one? Because actually, a lot of things were not working that good, and I'm going to explain what. Welcome to the third pile of devlog. Today, let's have a better look at our previous prototype, the one we made as students, and which we like to call Rainforest Opera. It was cool, but some major design problems needed to be fixed. The cameras would often be blocked by the environment, and the rooms were too wide, so players could go out of frame and often would. The production pipeline during our project wasn't optimal either. We needed to finish the whole level design before the artist could work on it and decorate, which was way too restrictive. This new prototype was used to test our new design solutions, our new feature, and our new pipeline. We now build our levels room by room, in smaller spaces, so the players never go out of frame. And the rooms are gated with doors, that can only be traveled through if all the players are together. A similar system is used in the game Pod. We also developed a new feature, the throw, that allows players to build piles easier. If you want to discover all our features, we made a new short video format called Inside the Box. It explains design concepts we used with PileUp. In the first episode, you'll get to see our complete moveset to navigate and create piles. You should go watch it. To keep in touch with you, we are also rebooting our newsletter. Every month, get informed about big news the progression of the project, the last videos released, the new features we implemented, and fun facts. So, don't hesitate to subscribe to the newsletter if you want to miss nothing about PileUp. Thanks a lot for watching this very short and chill PileUp devlog. Take care, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next month.